In order to survive in the wild, it seems that many creatures, both great and small, need to float like a butterfly or sting like a bee in order to survive. Heck, some of them even need to disguise themselves as weird, toxic mushrooms, and in some even rarer cases, it's a combination of all three. The truth is, as Jurassic Park taught us, life finds a way. And no matter what style or size these creatures come, they continue to amaze us with their convention-defying shape-shifting. From deep-sea creatures of alien origin to ants that look like mythical creatures, here's 15 strange animals that look like lies but are real. I'd like to introduce you to Max. This is one of my dragons that I've been following. <coughs> Emperor Tamron. All right, first up on this list, feast your eyes on one of the most incredible primates you'll ever see. Just when you were thinking maybe pandas or koalas are the cutest animals in the world, check these guys out. Seriously, this guy could have been an animated character and we probably wouldn't have batted an eyelid. Meet the bearded Emperor Tamron, a species of small monkey that are found only in the rainforests of Brazil, Peru, and on rare occasions, Bolivia. As you may imagine, these astonishing animals take their name from the elegant white mustache that spreads across their face, which is said to supposedly resemble the 19th century German emperor, Kaiser Wilhelm II. Yeah, we're not entirely sure if we can see the resemblance, measuring in at between just 7 and 12 inches and weighing a grand total of 32 ounces, these remarkable animals aren't exactly the most physically capable primates. But what they lack in brawn, they make up for with brain, and the Emperor Tamron exhibits some of the more complex monkey social skills ever seen in the wild. As highly social animals, they live in troops, consisting of anywhere between two to eight members, which are primarily made up of male members. Incredibly, these troops are always led by the eldest female of the group, and most grooming duties are undertaken by the male members of the species. In actual fact, the Emperor Tamron should probably be renamed the Empress Tamron, as the females tend to call the shots for these incredible animals. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. All right, while we're on the subject of strange animals, take a look at this unbelievable image that our team recently discovered. After appearing on message boards across the internet, it seemed at first that a new strange species of beaked bird had been discovered. In actual fact, the bird in question is a northern gannet, a species of seabird that's native to the coast of the Atlantic Ocean and northern Europe, and one that has a voracious appetite for pretty much everything and anything. If the second image is anything to go by, it seems that the northern gannet may also have an extraterrestrial kind of appetite. However, it wasn't long before people realized this whole thing was a hoax. As at present, no proof has been found that associates this kind of alien beak with the northern gannet, and if it had, it would have been pretty big news. Nevertheless, it's a strange thought to imagine another style of beak on a bird. What'd you guys think? Predator bird? Xenomorph parrot? Let us know your thoughts below by using the hashtag missing topic. <laughs> Leafy Sea Dragon Okay, we've got that strange bird out of the way, so let's turn our attention to one of the least understood species in the deep ocean, sea dragons, a group of animals that have often been the source of incredible new discoveries to the scientific world. In fact, for one subspecies in particular, known as the leafy sea dragon, their behavior is so strange that it continues to amaze researchers and marine enthusiasts alike. Otherwise known as Glout's sea dragon, these marine fish are found primarily along the southern and western coasts of Australia, where they reside in areas with clear water, lower light conditions, and prominent marine vegetation that they use to blend into their environment. You see, as the name suggests, the leafy sea dragon often resembles marine flora like seagrass, seaweed, and kelp, and they use this unique feature to maintain safety from predators in their serene, peaceful sea dragon marine meadows. Only living for up to 10 years at a time, the leafy sea dragon can easily grow to 14 inches in length, and although they're pretty difficult to spot, they're one of the most beautiful creatures in the ocean. In fact, the camouflage of this creature is so darn convincing that it's believed to have contributed toward their otherwise uncharacteristically long lifespan. Need a hide-and-seek champion? Yeah, put your money on this guy. <laughs> Jeweled Caterpillar Okay, if you've got a tripophobia, an irrational fear of strange holes or bumps, then you should probably look away now because our next entry is most definitely a trigger. 
Feast your eyes on the jeweled caterpillar, a strange creature exclusively found in remote rainforest environments that's developed a surprising reputation for being deceptively dangerous. Technically speaking, the jeweled caterpillar is a forest nudie branch, scientifically named for its numerous spiny protuberances that cover its entire body. You see, as an adult moth, this creature is pretty boring, but in its larval caterpillar stage, it's adorned with some of the more intriguing and intricate coverings in the natural world. Its entire body is covered with glass-like tendrils, the end of which appear reddish and orange, and when brushed or contacted, they break off into whatever surface touches them. Oftentimes, these attach themselves to curious predators, but they've also been known to attach themselves to human explorers who pass by without noticing the creature. Given the fact that the jeweled caterpillar is toxic, it's resulted in some pretty painful experiences. If that wasn't gross enough, at times, the jeweled caterpillar is infected by a parasitic fly maggot that eventually killed the creature from the inside out, but can be transmitted to other creatures via its detachable appendages. <laughs> Glaucus Atlanticus Glaucus Atlanticus, the blue dragon of the sea, a creature so extraordinary that scientists are still scrambling to determine the unique biological consistency of its living form. The truth is, compared to most other creatures on this planet, the blue Glaucus is the definition of an enigma, and things are made more complicated with the fact that the family that this creature belongs to, sea slugs, are even more enigmatic. Otherwise known as the blue dragon, the sea swallow, or the blue angel, the blue glaucus is a species of brightly colored nudie branch that can be found throughout the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans in both temperate and tropical waters. However, unlike pretty much every other sea slug that spends its life living in the bottom of the ocean, the blue angel actually floats throughout the entire water column of the ocean, gliding with its bright blue wings and defending itself against predators with its toxic chemical secretion. It does so by exhibiting a behavior never before seen in sea slugs by using an air bubble stored in its stomach that keeps the creature afloat. Amazingly, its bright blue camouflage acts as the perfect illusion against the backdrop of the ocean waves as it floats serenely throughout its ocean domain. <laughs> Lilac Breasted Roller as the national bird of Kenya, this incredible animal has had some fierce competition in standing out from the crowd, particularly against some of the more unique and exotic animals that frequent the wild regions of Kenya. However, just take one look at the lilac-breasted roller and you'll understand exactly why this extraordinary creature has become so iconic throughout eastern and southern Africa. From a distance, this small woodland bird could be mistaken for some 19th century oil painting, but incredibly, this creature is very much real and the luscious and rich coloring of its feathers are unlike any other in the wild. The lilac-breasted roller, Coraceus caudata, is a heavy-billed, beautifully colored bird with a green head, lilac throat and breast, a blue belly and even brighter blue wing feathers. Favoring to live in open woodland and savanna country as well as bushy game lands and areas with well-spaced trees, all lilac-breasted rollers are highly territorial and they'll defend their native environment aggressively against other competing birds. Yeah, don't let the pastel tones fool you, favoring to make their nests in tree holes as well as in the distinctive termite mounds of the region, the lilac-breasted roller is a capable and highly aggressive parent. Amazingly, they're also known for their distinctive courtship flight, which features them soaring through the sky and diving from an extreme height, rocking and rolling while making loud, harsh calls to its mate. Yeah, you could say that the lilac-breasted roller is pretty extra. <laughs> <laughs> Dingaso. While kangaroos are undeniably one of the more iconic animals on the weirdest continent on Earth, Australia, have you ever heard of a tree-climbing kangaroo? Well, while there are several surprising members of the tree-climbing kangaroo club, it seems that one of them is even weirder than the rest. Ever heard of the non-tree-climbing tree-climbing kangaroo? Uh, yeah. For that, you'll need to look a little deeper into the strange world of the marsupial genus to the Dingiso, a close cousin to the Australian icons who just so happen to be one of the weirdest and rarest animals on the planet. Endemic to northern Indonesia and the remote island province of Papua New Guinea, the Dingiso lives in the remote alpine forests of the Suderman Range, exclusively found at elevations of around 10 to 13,000 feet above sea level. Characterized by the distinctive pattern of black and white fur, with a strip of yellowish white on its belly, despite the behavior of its close tree climbing cousins, the Dingiso spends little time climbing trees, instead favoring the dense shelter of the alpine forest floor. 
Incredibly, this amazing animal is so elusive that it wasn't captured on camera until 2009, after a documentary team spent 11 days searching in the wild amongst local Moni tribesmen. Incredible! Dumbo Octopus Ever seen an octopus fly? Well, despite not being known for their characteristically large ears, this species of octopus is certainly amongst some of the most surprising marine creatures we've ever seen. The term Dumbo octopus actually refers to the 13, 14, 17, or maybe 18 species of deep-sea octopus that make up the genus. You see, these creatures are so darn weird that scientists still aren't certain just exactly how they should be classified. Despite them being incredibly strange and rare, Dumbo octopus are also known as some of the cutest creatures in the sky. That's if you look past the fleshy tentacles and glaring eyes. Hey, don't judge a book by its cover. As you may have guessed from the name, the most obvious characteristic about these creatures are the rounded ears that stick out of the side of their heads. Amazingly, no other kind of octopus has these extra appendages, and scientists aren't exactly sure what purpose they serve, other than for propelling themselves through the ocean like their characteristic cartoon namesake. Well, given the fact that they can grow to over 5 feet long as adults and they can change color at a whim, it seems that we're a long way off from solving the mystery of the Dumbo octopus. <laughs> Pantagonian Mara While we've seen some pretty surprisingly strange animals so far on this list, few of them can compete with the sheer deceptiveness of the Pantagonian Mara. You see, at first glance, the Pantagonian Mara looks like a small deer or perhaps some kind of oversized hare. But in actual fact, this animal is a large rodent with a particularly strange way of doing things. Each of this animal's front limbs have four distinctively sharp claws, which are exclusively used to dig through its native environment of Patagonia, Argentina. However, despite the claws, it also possesses a set of incredibly strong hind legs that allow the rodent to jump to extraordinary heights in order to escape predators. In some cases, it's been observed leaping upwards of nine feet in the air. Yet in other words, this critter is pretty darn weird, and as the world's third largest rodent just missing out against the capybara and the beaver, the Pantagonia mara is a creature that's full of surprises, and while it may seem like some sort of innocent looking deer, the truth is far from it. <laughs> Indian Purple Frog Alright, there's weird, and then there's the Indian Purple Frog otherwise known as nature's lumpy donut. This slimy, bulbous, grayish purple frog is a true freak of nature, so much so that following its discovery back in 2003, scientists struggled to determine whether it was a new kind of species altogether. Endemic to an exclusive mountain region in India, mainly in the western Ghat Mountains, it's traditionally been difficult to establish the exact habitat of the creature, given the fact that it spends almost all of its life underground. Despite being known by the locals of the area for centuries, the international scientific community took the precious time in figuring out just what the heck this thing was. And even now, little is known about how this animal interacts with its environment. The truth is, it's fat, and it's purple, and it's got strange, beady eyes. Also, it's one heck of a biological puzzle. <laughs> Maned Wolf with its long and possibly slender legs, it's hard to ever imagine that this elegant creature is part of the canine family. However, despite its otherwise strange and delicate appearance, the Maine Wolf is an incredibly efficient hunter in its native environment. With an incredible shoulder height of up to 35 inches when it's fully grown, this species is officially the tallest wild member of the canine family. Canine shape has just wandered out of the gloom and it's believed that its disproportionately long legs probably evolved due to the abundance of open grasslands in its endemic environment of Brazil, Peru, Paraguay, Uruguay, and Argentina. Amazingly, scientists believe that the maned wolf evolved their long legs in order to help them see above the tall grasses and shrubs of South America, making it one of the only canines to have evolved extra footage in order to survive. Despite its name, the maned wolf is not a wolf, nor is it a fox. In fact, it can't be completely classified as any kind of fox, wolf, dog, coyote, or even a jackal. Its last common ancestor was the Falkland Islands wolf, a strange canine offshoot that went extinct in around 1880. Yet you could say that this lonely creature is outstanding in its field. Garanook, okay, now that we've seen a non-tree climbing kangaroo and a leggy looking non-wolf, feast your eyes on this strange standing giraffe gazelle. Deer? 
We're not entirely sure. Meet the Garanook, a creature that's officially classified as an antelope, but seems to exhibit behaviors usually associated with giraffes. Most commonly found in Tanzania, Kenya, southern Somalia, Ethiopia, these odd-looking creatures measure in at around three and a half feet and are distinguished by their extremely long necks, their small heads, and bulbous eyes. And you see, unlike other antelopes who primarily feed by grazing, the Garanook instead chooses to stand on its two hind legs and use its elongated neck to graze on trees and shrubs across the savanna. Amazingly, their choice of being picky eaters has meant that they have few competitors for food sources. Hey, that's one way to do it. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Panda ant. Don't let this next entry fool you, because while this seemingly fuzzy and cute-looking insect appears like it would be as gentle as a panda, it's actually far from it. The panda ant may look innocent, but it packs one of the most painful stings in the wild. Capable of killing a two-pound mammal with just six stings, and allegedly capable of even taking down a fully grown cow. Amazingly, the panda ant isn't an ant either, but instead it's a type of parasitic wasp that lays its eggs on other ground insects. Shockingly, when its eggs hatch, it kills the unfortunate insect and uses it as a food source. Yet not so cute and fuzzy now, right? Unlike many other wasps, the panda ant is a solitary creature and has never been observed living within a colony, working collectively to forage with other insects of their kind. For all intents and purposes, this strange-looking creature is a cold, hard killer. Yikes. <laughs> red-lipped batfish. All right, we've seen some pretty weird stuff so far, but have you ever seen a red-lipped batfish? Native to the cool waters of the Galapagos Islands, this unusual fish is equipped with frog-like legs, a lipstick red pout, and a strange dangling lure that makes it truly one of a kind and unlike any other fish in the sea. Now, it goes without saying, but to stand out in the strange and wonderful world of weird fish, it takes some pretty special circumstances. And the unique marine conditions of the Galapagos Islands are the only place on the planet that you'll find the red-lipped batfish. As a member of the anglerfish family, this variety of fish is renowned for its unusual appendages of their heads that are also used to lure in prey. The thing is, scientists aren't exactly sure how or why the red-lipped batfish decided to evolve a distinctive red mouth. The most accepted theory is that the red-lipped batfish evolved their luscious lips in order to help them attract mates, but considering that they've never been observed utilizing them in the wild, more research is needed to be done for sure. Chevrotain If you thought the Patagonian marrow was deceptive, then you ain't seen nothing yet. In fact, its round body, spindly legs, and strangely distinctive fangs, when it comes to being weird, the chevrotain gives the duck-billed platypus a run for its money, otherwise known as the mouse deer, and despite the fact that it's neither a mouse nor a deer, the chevrotain is one of the most elusive and mysterious creatures on Earth. They're so skittish that observing them in the wild is almost impossible, meaning that scientists currently know little about the behaviors of this odd animal endemic to the forests of Southeast Asia, with a single member of its species also being found in Central Africa, the chevrotain is so unique that it belongs to its own family of animals, of which the mouse deer is the only living member. In fact, the chevrotain is so rare that many scientists believe it to be a living fossil, a weird and wonderful remnant of some of the evolutionary processes that nature has gone through. Yeah, how's that for rare? <laughs> Peacock Mantis Shrimp and finally, what better way to complete this list than with an incredible strange animal that packs one heck of a punch? In fact, this extraordinary crustacean is so weird that it may actually be one of the most unique creatures on Earth. On the surface, the peacock mantis shrimp is a bright and intriguing animal of the sea, not unlike its many other crustacean relatives that it shares the ocean with. But beneath the surface, the mantis shrimp possesses a deadly ability in its aquatic arsenal, its legendary punch an ability said to smash its victims with the same force as a 22 caliber bullet after launching a lightning-quick attack on its unfortunate prey. After years of trying to figure out how this small sea creature developed such a devastating ability, scientists discovered that the unique bone structure of its claws was responsible for the astonishing feat of strength. And amazingly, it's actually considered to be the strongest self-powered strike by a single animal. Don't let its tiny body fool you. The mantis shrimp can pack a punch. Well, there we have it. 15 strange animals that look like lies but are real. What'd you guys think? 
Let us know your thoughts down below. And as always, thanks for sticking around all the way until the end. You've been watching Missing Files. See you next time.